but I believe that you've got to keep reminding yourself all the time what we're capable of and the only way of doing that is revealing the truth as, I, as it was or as I saw it. My name is Ray Mooney. I'm 73. I was in Pentridge from 1968 to 1975. I was in the H Division myself for four months uh, during the time when it was nearly at its worst. It was a very bad experience and a bad time to be there. It's not stretching anyone's imagination to say that the only thing they let you do was live. And that was only if you were prepared to do what they wanted you to do. Well, the recent history of Pentridge has been that when they closed it down in the late 90s, it was discussed that it could be developed in a very effective way and as a result of that it was sort of basically thrown on the corporate market and a couple of um, organisations got involved and they were going to set it up and use it as sort of like an historical theme park in a way but the money fell through for the first group of people and then they onsold it to a group that have it at the moment, the, the Taiwanese group Shana and they have been very successful in having it developed but section by section. And the sad story of the way it's been developed is that it was first of all presented to Heritage Victoria that it needed to be kept, part of it needed to be kept as it was so that future generations would have access to exactly how it was. Part of the conditions were that the Shainar group had to set up a museum and they had to make certain that H Division was not demolished. H Division, by the way, was the punishment section within Pentridge. Right throughout the world, corporations that have tried to redevelop places like prisons have found that people don't want to live there if it's associated with a terrible reputation of its historical past. this incredible cellar in B Division were these straps which old canvas and, if, and you could tell they were 40 or you know 30 or 40 years old where prisoners were hung upside down on their feet and that's what they were flogged. When they sold the place and they opened up and found what had happened they discovered these incredible dungeons which had only a, a couple of decades ago had been uh, had been sort of blocked off where they had cells that were underground. Within those dungeons were cellars where they pulled up these concrete slabs and they put people in for extra punishment. So that's why that group have been absolutely uh, forthright in denying anyone access to being able to go in there and to record what it's like because you can't sell to the public at a high price when there's a really bad history that goes with it. And my attitude towards what they've done to Pentridge is I think Heritage Victoria is a disgraceful organisation for knowing that was happening. They know it's happening at the moment, they still have done nothing about it, and they don't intend to do anything about it. Of course, we know that they haven't built a museum. Haste Division was destroyed totally, which is an unbelievable shame. In two to 300 years time, that will all be gone. It'll be paved alleyways, and, and, and we'll know very little of our genuine heritage. Our history is so important, we need to know what we're capable of doing. And we need to know what, we're, you know, we sort of make out the rest of the world's like that, we're not. But we were just as capable as anyone on this planet of doing things like that. And the only way that you know that is if you have access to our history. And here you have corporate people denying the world access to our history. And that's where it's a real shame.